Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Able Life Quick Tips. This time I want to introduce you to a new feature that was added in Life 12 for moving clips from the session to the arrangement view. And if you're like me and you maybe also got started without a MIDI controller, you might also be in the habit to at least occasionally copy clips from the session to the arrangement view. Before, when you did that and they had different lengths, then they would just behave like unlooped clips, even if they were looped. And so one clip would be four bars long, another 16 maybe, or whatever. So I want to show you, I've got uh, different clips here. So in the first track, the length is 32 bars. And in the second, one bar. In the third, four bars. And in the fourth, 16 bars of length. And so if I just select them all, and do copy, set it to be pasted here. You could paste them here as well, it doesn't matter. Then you can just paste them and you can see this one was 32 bars long and was the longest and this is just a full one. And the second one was very short. So it's been looped to end at bar 33 and the other ones as well. So I find this really useful because this is the behavior that most of us probably would have expected before as well and it didn't work like that. And this only works with loop clips, obviously. With unlooped clips, they would also only be pasted in their length. So, and let's have a look at what happens when you select clips from different scenes. Then let me just duplicate this and actually go in here and delete everything. And then I'm gonna select this, this clip, this clip, and this clip by keeping, in my case, on Mac command press or control on Windows and then copying and pasting. And here you can see that they're, if they're from different scenes, they're actually copied sequentially. So basically, if you prepare everything in session view, you know, like what your arrangement should be like, and maybe it's a long track and you don't want to record everything live into arrangement view, or you just, you know, don't have a MIDI controller at hand, then you can just copy things over and you can see that everything is copied sequentially the way you would expect. So I really like this new feature and it hasn't gotten much attention because it's just a really small feature, but it can make quite a difference if you use copying and pasting in your workflow. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.